What's that? Dude, I, yeah. I feel you, man. I'm like all edible now. All right. I, I feel I have an edible hangover. <laughs> I slept through three alarms, man. That's his bro. I, an edible hangover is better than an alcohol hangover because alcohol hangover, bro, you feel like shit. Edible hangover, you just feel tired, man. Oh man, yeah. What'd you do? What'd you do last night? What are you up to? I went. I went to eat some Japanese food. Oh shit! Hold on, man. B M W. B M W. I mean B W V. I'm so slow right now, bro. <laughs> Hold on, man. I place my trades and then I'll. Uh... Okay. Yeah, man. I. So I've been, I've been, as you know, I've been working pretty. I mean, I haven't taken a day off in a while. So I mean, this is pretty good for me. Right? Usually, the hardest part for me is coming to work on time and stuff. So, uh, the secret, guys, do what it needs to take. Sleep is very important for myself. It's yeah. hard for me because I live on the West Coast. So, dude, I mean, I can't be in bed by nine o'clock every day, right? That's like midnight over in market time. So I've been, I've been eating edibles and stuff, and just been naturally like passing out early. And so that's. But uh, be careful, man. You take it a little late, you you get this little. <laughs> <laughs> you take it a little bit late. All of a sudden, you have a bag of Doritos next to you. You're watching some movies. <laughs> Dude, all of a sudden, it's one a.m. <laughs> Your buddy calls you to drink. <laughs> and then the thing is, like, I took the edibles, and I'm like, "Dude, I, that, that. so I so there's a couple times of edibles, and you know, right? Sleep, and then in, in, indica, and then you know, some teeth and all that shit. And I'm like. Dude, this shit's supposed to make me go to sleep, but I'm I'm feeling high. I'm still awake. My eyes are wide open at one a.m. I'm like, dude, I took this like three hours ago, and then you try to take another one, <laughs> he's dead. <laughs> the most dangerous thing for Bao guys is not the edibles. It's his friends at one a.m. come out to drink with me. That's that's the most dangerous one. If he could get away from those late night texts, then he's gonna make it to trade the next day. Oh, so okay, man. So let's so talk about so. We haven't brought back the monthly sale in a long time, man. You know, I think that was very good for people because starting this bar, uh, bear market, people are losing. I hear so many people losing. Look at the market today. It went, dude, it went back red, man. So, I mean, yeah, dude. Crazy. And so education, guys, is the only way. I don't want you guys – we don't want you guys to lose all your money gambling. Okay? So there are money to be made today, guys. I'm up. Oh, my God. Dude, I'm going to post some P&Ls later, guys. Uh, some from some of the MIC mentors. One guy made the bear made twenty five thousand dollars. Yeah, bear killed it today. I made twenty five grand today. Sick. I mean, so think about this in a bear market. His name is Bear, but his, his nickname is the Bear. He's at twenty five thousand. So there's still money to be made every single day if you know what you're doing. So yeah. go ahead, Alex. Yeah, I mean the big thing, guys, is that for the last two years, 2020, 2021, a lot of people made a lot of money buying stocks, which is great. That's an incredible strategy, and that's if you're a long-term investor, whatever you may be, it's a great strategy. Buy and hold, right? The problem is, guys, that you can't just buy and hold forever, right? You have to learn the other side of the market as well. There's two sides to the market. There's the buy and sell, and there's the short and cover. So we've been shorting all for the past thousand, been doing it 20 years. I've been doing it eight years. So we make money in all different types of market conditions bull market bear market it doesn't matter giraffe zebra market we make money right and the thing is not a lot of people know what shorting is not a lot of people know that you can make money when stocks go down when i first started trading i had a magical talent every time i bought a stock it cratered so in my brain in my brain i said oh my god like this this magic of shorting if i just shorted where i would abide oh my god that's it it's game over i'm gonna kill it right so not a lot of people know what shorting is. Not a lot of people know that you can make money on the opposite side of the trade. And in these bear markets, when everything is tanking, when everything is going down, everyone's looking for the dip buy, which who knows what day it's going to come. We don't know what day it's going to come. But until that day comes, you know, we are capitalizing on making money when stocks go down. The membership is on to be able to help people to understand that there's more than one way to make money in the market. All these uh, gurus, all these trading experts, all these guys flashing their cars and their watches, they don't exist anymore, right? All of a sudden, they're all gone. It's all gone. And that's because they lost their money. They did not adapt to the changing markets. We are adapting to the changing markets. We are adapting to what's working. And Right now, shorting is by far the best strategy in the world, and no one knows it exists. 
You know, everyone always thinks about Warren Buffett, Warren Buffett, Warren Buffett that buys and holds. But you guys have to think about Michael Burry from the big short. How much money they made when things were going down. So make the money when stocks go down like Michael Burry. And then when they reverse, you could do your Warren Buffett thing. And that's why we brought back the monthly membership is to teach you guys this strategy that's been working time tested for years, you know? Yep. And uh, the thing is this, guys. You don't have to go short to take advantage of MIC room because what happens is Alex and I and a bunch of other guys go short, but knowing where the short sellers sell, knowing where the short sellers want to cover, knowing which stocks short sellers want to avoid because they we because we know which stocks is going to squeeze it has a higher percentage of squeezing. So by knowing that, you know which it's stock selection, right? So so as a long bias trader, you can either try to on your own if, if you are experienced and you know what you're doing. But most, most of the time, you guys are here because you're not experienced. And so if Alice and I warn the room, do not short this stock. This is a low float. There is no dilution. And it's way deviated over VWAP. What does that mean? That means that, wow, long should take advantage that that stock is going to kill the experienced short sellers. So knowing where the shorts want to short, helps the longs, number one, either avoid having to go long in dead stocks. So we have uh, strategies like the death line. Once it breaches that, there's no point of return, right? That kind of stuff. So longs and shorts will work in conjunction with one another at MIC, guys. And so you don't have to go short. I'm telling you, a lot of people are scared to go short. You don't have to. But you know what? Knowing where the professional shorts enter and exit is very very huge to your learning and we also have the stock selection is key too guys you have to know what stocks to trade and you know the the honest answer of how you could learn which stocks are good and which stocks are bad is through time and experience everyone always asks how do you find these stocks to trade how do you find these stocks to trade honestly the easiest part is finding them the hardest part is narrowing down which ones you should trade and which ones you should avoid and the thing is when you're first starting out trading whether it be a month or a year you haven't seen enough stocks moving to understand which ones are trouble and which ones are good. And that's why leaning into someone's experience like Bao or leaning into experience like me, that we've seen all different types of market conditions. We've seen, I've probably traded 10,000 stocks, right? Maybe even more, 100,000 stocks. Who knows how many? But the point is, after seeing so many stocks, after seeing the way they trade over and over again, we have learned which stocks are good to trade, which is what we focus on. We have learned which stocks are avoids, which are good for longs to focus on. And together we make a plan and we execute like professionals every day. Correct. And, uh, that, and we provide you the watch list too. So the watch list has our, our guides. So it's not like these other rooms. So there's been a lot of people joining MIC from other pump and dump services. That's because you know, they've been losing. So I don't want to mention any names. But, you know, some of them have been convicted by the SEC, things like that recently. So, I mean, there's a reason why the SEC and stuff came after them, right? Um, and so they have left those rooms and joined us. And they, oh, my God, it's night and day. Uh, that's because we really – there's two ways to make money, guys. And the second – the first way is getting lucky. Anybody can get lucky a few times. <laughs> But just like the lottery winners, they all lose their money back eventually, right? The curse of the lottery because they're not financially literate enough. They think that they they think that luck is skill, and they end up losing back all their money. So uh, the number two, the, the consistent guys, they're slow and steady. You don't know who the hell they are, but one day you wake up and go, "Wow, dude, I've made two hundred dollars every day this week. That's a thousand dollars. That's life changing money." Versus yeah. the guy that's making a thousand dollars today, tomorrow losing two thousand, next day making five hundred, next day you know just wild swing. So, it's like it's like yesterday. Someone asked me, they're like, "How do I turn ten million into a hundred million?" These guys don't have a thousand dollars yet, and they're worried about ten million to hundred million. So before you guys run, before you guys worry about ten million to hundred million, before you worry about one million, before you worry about a hundred thousand, before you worry about ten thousand. Let's get you to a thousand first, okay? Once we get you to a thousand, <laughs> then that's it. Then we could keep moving forward because you cannot make a hundred million without making a thousand. It's like Alex, like going on the first day, the girls already like name our children, future children. Yeah. <laughs> I'm that's like, terrifying, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> we haven't even kissed yet. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's that's how it is, and that's the thing, guys. Trading is, it it's possible to make a hundred million. It is a hundred percent possible, but the way to make a hundred million, like Bao says, you must first learn how to make a million. 
To make a million, it's as simple as making $100. Because if you could learn how to make $100, all you have to do is add a zero to your share size, and then boom, it keeps exponentially increasing, you know? So that's the thing, man. Learn the basic foundations. And so I, I don't know if the... Uh... So I, I read this. One guy said they couldn't afford the annual. So we have the monthly. So the guys are in. So this is the thing I want to do for you guys, okay? Um, Alex ended. I think that sale ended. But uh, I, there might be some options open, some 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 room left. So if you got this might be the last day, guys. Um, I don't know where to go. You you want to. Yeah, I, I mean, we, we ended it yesterday. But, I mean, if you want to do it for, like, another, I don't know, like, a couple hours. We can well, just we're doing like this nothing. for for my Instagram followers, guys, because I just read someone that says they can't afford the annual. This is it, guys. Uh, this is the last chance for you guys to join monthly. Uh, we, we, we decided to open it up because of this. We don't know when the next time we op we will bring back monthly. I don't but think it's going to be for the rest of the year. 100%. Yeah, so this is this is your last chance then, guys, this year to uh, join monthly. So go to that link that um, we've been posted on, on Twitter, uh, myinvestingclub.com slash spring. This is it, guys. Yeah. No more excuses. Uh, you say you can't afford annual. I it had. Let me ask you guys, okay? Before you guys uh, log off here, did you lose more than two hundred fifty dollars today, or this month, or this week? If you did, it's a no brainer to join, guys. And I'm looking at the markets right now. It's, it's red again, and I'm pretty sure you guys are fucking loading up on crypto, and crypto is <laughs> down a fucking a shit ton. You know, I, this is the thing that's crazy, man. People are like, oh, there's inflation. I'm going to start putting money into these things. I'm like, well, you dumbass. You just lost 50% trying to hedge. You don't know what the hell the hedge is. You know, yeah. the, the hedge is the fucking uh, bushes outside your house, you know? <laughs> you, you know, that, that thing's crazy. They, all of a sudden, everyone's a financial genius. That's the thing with crypto. I don't want to bash crypto, but, you know, they've experienced a 12-year, 14-year bull market where it does not dip. You know, even my son bought one share of Tesla, I think at $500, bro. And it's split. He has two shares. It's up to like $1,000. And so he thinks he's a financial genius too. So in our family, he's the only guy that has invested long term in Tesla. And it's split. And he's holding that shit. It's like, dude, my son's a fucking genius, you know? That's fun. So that's the same thing, guys. So Morgan Stanley came out with something that says, uh, all of the meme guys, the meme traders, they lost back all their money from AMC and GME and all that stuff. Um, crypto, yesterday, they came out, a billion dollars got liquidated. All the funds are about to go broke because they margin. So how do you make money in a bear market, guys? You make money in the bear market the same way you make money in a, in a bull market. Sticking to the process, having the discipline, all starts with risk management. Take a look at Kathy Woods, man. Holy shit. Her arc. <laughs> I mean, all these guys, I mean, they, they never thought the markets go down. I don't know who the hell these experts are, but they have no risk management. They think these stocks, they think crypto will go to a million dollars. I mean, what the freak, right, guys? So this is what I'm going to try to tell you, man. The way you make money during a bear market is to have realistic expectations you're not gonna get rich overnight it's very difficult you're not gonna find that one dime in the rough stock because in a bear market hardly anything spikes up that much so in a true recessionary market it will be a downtrend okay and the thing is the ones that survive are the ones that have a plan okay the ones that are not too eager to keep adding adding there's two ways to make money okay either you short when it goes down or you buy long when at support. That's all it is. Buy, support, sell, and resistance. But the problem is this. The time frame, right? Um, we don't know how long this bear market, recession market will last. And so what do you do? You must have a plan, guys. And a lot of the people that buy early, try to guess the bottom, will go broke. Because if, if this thing is for five years, you're freaking dead. It's only been six months the market went down or something like that, right? So you still have another five years left. And so what do you do is this, guys? Uh, my mom taught me something great. Don't be, don't focus on buying the bottom or selling the top. Just go with the trend. So as an insurance policy, wait for the market to actually bounce up because there's a lot of meat on the bone. You can easily, so being a little late is okay. Being early is bad. Being a little late is better when it confirms. So the way you make money is you take your gains out. Well, Alex and I, we nail and bail every day. So our strategy works in every single market conditions. The problem with bear market, there, it, there are less opportunities to make the money because less plays pop up 
to the to get the meat that we need. But there's still opportunities. You have to be more disciplined. That's a, that's the number one thing. If you're disciplined in a great market, you make a ton of money. If you if you are not, you're gonna lose money. But it's more forgiving in a great market because there's a lot more opportunities to make back the mistakes. So keep doing what you're doing. Follow the MIC process. Risk management above all else. So this is going to separate the men from the boys, the guys that know what they're doing from the rest. Okay, guys, risk management. Because if you have bad risk management, if you have bad risk management and you made money the wrong way in a bull market, you're dead, dude. You can't recover. You cannot recover. It's, it's you know what it is too, man. That we 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 don't really talk about it as much often anymore. Is we made so many videos is there's two sides to trading guys there is the technical aspect of trading and there's the mental aspect of trading so at mic we teach you guys the technical aspect which is how to read chart the strategies whatever and the mental side is why you come and you guys watch these videos because you must have a very sharp mental to be able to do this and the reason why i say that is because imagine if you were working for someone and for the past two years you got paid a hundred grand working for that person now, not only are you working more hours, you're probably getting paid 40 grand for that same job that you work more hours. A lot of people are not able to handle that. A lot of people are not able to downsize. A lot of people are not able to adjust and adapt. And that's why you see so many of these people non-existent anymore. You see so many of these people losing money because they are failing to adapt. They are failing to fix their mental and say, you know what? The market doesn't owe me anything. I don't deserve to make a hundred grand. I don't deserve to make a million. I don't deserve to do anything. My job as a trader is to show up and see what opportunities are there and capitalize on those opportunities. Just because there were multi-million dollar opportunities last year does not mean you will get the same opportunities this year, but slow and steady. If you could show up and make a hundred dollars a day, $200 a day, that is better than 99% of the people in this market because a lot of people are not changing. They're not adapting. And it's, it's, it's tough out there, right? That's the thing, guys. You guys think you can do the same thing over and over and make money? No. Uh, trading is very competitive because there's another person, another algo, another computer, another fun on the other side of your trade. It's like, it's like playing basketball against the Warriors. And you think it's because you beat them the last game that they won't – change their their algorithm their process to kick your ass the next time so that's the same thing um it's a very competitive nature in terms of trading guys uh, people always say trading is about you versus you but it's also you versus the fucking computer you versus the algo trying to cheat. you versus me it's you guys on the other side of the trade are trading against me and bow and people that have been trading for 40 years 50 years that have tens of millions hundreds of millions of dollars so you want to be able to compete with people like me and bow you got to learn how the fuck we do it, man. Yeah, and that's the thing, guys. We we are very realistic. You don't see us trying to fucking <laughs> post, like, ginormous p &L. It's very consistent. Take a look at uh, Alex posting uh, his p &Ls on Instagram. So check out our Instagram, which you guys have now. Yeah. You'll see it. It's very consistent. People yeah, think, I mean, oh, yesterday you know, was 500 bucks. There's, today there's no today was no luck. trades. Yeah, man, it's, it's imagine, bro. This time last year, I was making 40K, 50K a day. And all of a sudden, now I must accept a $500 day or no trade day. And a lot of people are not able to mentally handle that pay cut. And not a lot of people are able to mentally handle because what happens is most Americans, they live outside their means. If they make a 50K a year, 100K a year, they spend 60K, 120K. They live way outside their means. So you must always stay within your means, if not under your means, so that God forbid, if something bad happens, you don't have to really worry about it. I'm doing pretty fucking good right now. You know what I'm saying? I have, I'm doing really well financially. You know, it sucks that everything is going down, but I'm not saying, all right, while well, the market is down, I got to buy another this, I got to buy another that. You must stay conservative when the market conditions warrant that. And when everything is going well, when you're making money, wire some money out and go on vacation. So a lot of people, they want to make what they made last year. I want to make what I made last year too. But in this current condition, of high interest rates, markets tanking, whatever it may be, realize that the world has changed again. The world changed during 2020. It is now changed again in 2022 with the war in Ukraine as well. And because the world has changed, you must also change. Yep. And the thing is, you remember, guys, most of you guys are not full-time traders. And that's the advantage you have. I'm telling you right now, do not, you don't want to be a full-time trader. There's no reason to be a full-time trader. 
You know, Alex only trades the first hour of the day. You don't need to stick around all day. And the fact that you have a job which pays your rent, now you can trade stress-free. You're not forced to make money trading. And that's the secret, guys. The secret to, to my success was the fact that I had a job. And I, I was a full-time trader, but I also had a job. And so that yeah. job afforded me not to stress and not to force bad trades that I had to pay the rent that day. You know, I saved enough money. And so that's the key, guys. Supplement your income. Remember, uh, Alex always talking about picking a pay cut. To me, it's not even a pay cut because you know what, man? It's a commission job. It's not a guaranteed job. So when you say take a pay cut, I hate that term when, when I see these Twitter guys who made millions of dollars last year. Like, I'm taking a fucking pay cut. It sucks only making 10000 a day now. I'm like, <laughs> fuck you, pay cut. When the fuck have you ever made that in your life? You, you, got, a, you got a lucky one-off missionary year. <laughs> it's like, you know, you sold a nice ad the fucking mansion and now you're living off the fucking commission with that mansion you think you're taking a take it no dude you never sold that mansion before you were selling trailer homes before you know and that's that's what it was so uh don't think of trading as a pay cut guys i always think of trading as a commission job where i it's like hunter i go out every fucking day to hunt for food and you know what the secret is I built and Alex have stored enough food in our fucking food bank that we don't need to ever fucking go on hunt again. But we are here to help you show you how to hunt. And I love fucking hunting, dude. Every day I'm hunting for my own food. I'm not here at my stockpile. Alex out. here with fucking a gun on every hand, hunting everywhere he can. He's calling in a fucking nuke. He's calling in an airstrike. He's fucking attacking us. Stop this motherfucker. Yep, exactly, bro. And so that's the thing, guys. So you build your stockpile of food. So then, you know, man, the bear market recession comes. You can wait for your entries. And you right. know what, man? We're going to fucking buy distressed assets and all that shit. But we're not talking about that today. The fact is there's money to be made in the stock market every day, guys. Don't fucking fear. If The problem is if you don't have a process, if your strategy doesn't fucking work, then, then you should be fearful. So why are you trying to reinvent the wheel? Join and learn from people that have done this. I'm going to tell you something, man. I've seen new traders trying to build their own system. How the fuck do they even know if it works? You've only traded for a freaking two years in the hottest bear uh, bull market on earth. And now you're like, oh, shit, you're panicking. So, you know what? Maybe your strategy didn't work at all. It was just freaking luck. Um, and so you, sometimes you have to ask for help, guys. The humility is the best thing, and that's the one thing, man. The, the one thing that got me successful, Alex, is the fact that we're humble. We, we realize we don't know everything. We don't, we're not the best, and it fucking sucks, and we show our losses. So, yeah, uh, I, always, I always want to learn. I mean, no matter – because Bao – here's the thing about me and Bao. We're always willing to learn and improve. Bao's favorite thing is to learn new tricks in the market, like learn the new algos, learn the new tricks, find out the blueprint. That's Bao's passion in the markets to always improve. To He wants to reverse engineer the algos and become the algo himself, right? For yep. me, I just want to improve and just get better. I want to show up and just get better. I want to be able to just be less stressed in my trading because I learned that if you are stressed in your trading, you are probably in the wrong trade. So the less stressed I am in a position, the less stressed I am in a trade, the less stressed I am, ends up domino affecting and benefiting me, you know? Yep. Any questions, guys? We're going to keep it short and sweet. Uh, any questions? But so the key secret to making money in the, is discipline. Discipline, discipline. Follow the process. Uh, have a plan before you enter the stock. A plan includes where to enter and where to exit for both a winner and a loser, guys. So that's yep. the thing. And people, the problem is right now the market went down, and so people have been up so much money on things like Tesla and all these stocks. Uh, but these stocks have dropped like 50% from the high. And they didn't yeah. fucking sell any. And now they turn a giant winner into a giant loser. That's because they yeah. did not have a plan. Their yeah. plan was diamond hands. Diamond hands is not a fucking plan, guys. <laughs> fucking the diamond guys are now fucking got, they're, they're armless. They got fucking, they're, they're, they're fucking back at work. They're back at fucking Starbucks, guys. Diamond hands, baby. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, that's the thing, man. You have to have a plan because because you, it's it's like these guys were up so much on crypto, like Bitcoin was seventy thousand, whatever the hell it may be, um, and they didn't sell a single fucking share. They want to hold. Oh, one more thing about before I forget is, guys, we are doing a live trading event for MIC members only. So I think sometime June, I think we said June fifteen or June thirteen, but we're gonna change to June twenty. Yeah. yeah, June twentieth or June twenty second, somewhere some June twenty something is gonna be a live trading event for free for MIC members only. 
Doesn't matter if you're monthly, quarterly, annual, lifetime. This is going to be a live trading event where you get to watch me build the watches and Bao and I execute together, commentate, and then open it up to a Q&A, guys. So this is your opportunity to watch us trade live. And if it goes well, hey, maybe we'll make it a monthly thing. But right. if you, and if you uh, guys want to sign up. Success trader, for a success trader. Or I'm yes. Sure. If you are also a success trader client and not an MIC member, all you have to do is send me a screenshot of any type of statement that you have, and I will send you the link. So this is for success trader clients only and MIC members only, guys. And for, I guess, what time is it now? It's 12 market time. So let's do another 12 hours for this monthly promotion, the myinvestingclub.com slash spring. So for the next 12 hours, we'll open it up and then, no more for the rest of the year, man. I don't, it's, yeah, we um, we we're, we're trying to try to figure out how to help you guys better, and so we may do more of these live trading because we reserved back then to do live trading for the boot camp, but that was hard, man. <laughs> One year is a lot of planning. So, and yeah. um, our, our anniversary is coming up again. So wait for that, guys. So a lot of great yeah. things. So we a lot have meetups all that. around the world. Uh, we had one in London, Berlin, hosted by um, Stephen, moderator. So a lot of stuff going on, guys. So you guys should join. Um, I mean, dude, we have great people. That, you know, Think about this, man. It's a, it's a country club for the everyday man with like-minded individuals like yourself. That's that's the whole thing, man. I mean, I, I love MIC. When I'm bored, I pull up MIC. I think I was chatting until midnight last night or some crazy shit like that. Right? So, and it's crazy. Uh, the bow is in the West Coast, and I'm on the East Coast. So by the time I'm going to sleep at like 9 p.m., it's 6 p.m. for Bao, and then Bao just keeps talking. So we, we have everything covered. And this is your opportunity, guys, to network and meet other people. I mean, it's, you, you would believe that stock traders would be these people that just sit in their offices all day, which we are. But a lot of these people are also doctors. They're also lawyers. They're also engineers, web developers, advertising experts, uh, carpenters, any type of thing. So whenever I need anything in my personal life, I always go to the community first because not only are they – experts in their own field we both love the same thing man we both oh, love trade. That, 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 that reminds me alex uh with the recession coming up people are going to lose their jobs and so we uh using the club we meet other people and we found actually our developers and everything through the members of the club and yeah. we are a we success trader actually uh has a i think we forgot to show them the, the link for the careers oh yeah let me see let me pull that up real quick one second so one sec so we always trying to help our members, guys. So here, let me show you. So you guys right. are looking for a, a great um, opportunity. You want to explain this a little bit, Bao? For yeah. Here? So success traders, up and coming. Uh, you know, the brokers that we partner with, they, they, they. I guess they're surprised how many clients we um, we referred over, and everything's going great. So they need more help, guys. So uh, go to successtrader.com slash career. Is that it? Career? Career, yeah. And then in there, you can submit. Uh, we have a um, – it doesn't go to me and Alex. It goes to them. We, we're not part of the hiring. But you know what, man? If you're in MIC, uh, put that down. That might be just what they want to, to see to put you on top of the, the hiring food chain. But just go there, guys. Um, no experience required. Just freaking go in there and good luck. Maybe you have a career now in – the stock brokerage business, which is, you know, pretty, pretty cool, man. <laughs> cool, guys. Anything else? Great, guys. We'll see you back at MIC, uh, myinvestingclub.com slash spring. Yep. Okay. See you guys there. And tomorrow right. is Tasha's webinar at 2 p.m. Where oh, yeah, probably yeah. Bao and I will be there, too. Yeah, we'll be there. Uh, public webinar every 2 p.m. Wednesday, which is – wait, Tuesday. Wait, that's tomorrow's, uh, tomorrow's webinar. Today tomorrow's is Joe's right. – Today's Joe's large cap, guys. Yeah, we have a large cap and options webinar every Tuesday at 7 p.m. So you guys could join, watch the webinar today at 7 p.m. And then tomorrow we have a free public, uh, like, new member orientation webinar. So we'll see you guys there. All right, guys. Thanks, Alice. No problem, bro. Bye.